Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. This is monthly tarot reading for astrological sign Libra. My dear friends, here we go. December 2017. You see, little by little, we come to the very end of this year. And what I have for you, well, I have not only one, but I have two spreads for you. Uh, those four tarot cards are for job, for work department, business, money department. Afterwards, I will put another spread only for your love department. So maybe you are attached, maybe you are single, who knows, hopefully my monthly tarot reading will be resonated with you. First of all, before I say anything at all, I do recommend to you, go and watch also monthly tarot reading for December, for your moon sign and for your rising sun as well. Okay, my dear friends, first of all, month of December is the very last month and we all tend uh, to draw a line in the sand, you know, kind of, you know, reflecting upon what happened in previous years year, you know, all together in any kind of, I, I mean, in all departments of your life, in all areas. So maybe you will discover that you have some regrets. Maybe you will discover that you are so much wiser than ever before. Maybe you will understand that you need still to change something inside of you. Maybe you will understand and most likely you will with what kind of people and situation in general you want to be surrounded with. But let me start not with, with tarot, let me start with astrology. Because the biggest event in 2018 and starting from December 20th, now in December 2017, is moving off maybe the most important planet. And yes, I'm talking about Saturn. So for the past two years and a half, Saturn spent um, in the sign of Sagittarius in your third house, house of communication. But from December 20th, this Saturn task master, master will shift to your fourth house. So first of all, let me mention, let me say something about this, uh, about this shifting. First of all, I know you do not watch only my YouTube channel. I know you watch most likely other astrologers and tarot readers. And everybody now are talking about this big shift uh, of Saturn uh, shifting to another house of yours. So basically for you, from your third house of communication to your fourth house of your roots and family, family members, your house and so on. So this is very serious because... Um, you need to think about Saturn. He is a task master. So he will ask something from you to start with something or to finish something, to show a uh, discipline in one area of your life. He will ask many, 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 many things for you, asking you, are you sure? Are you sure? And three dots. Well, um, how can I continue this type of uh, question. Everything depends in which area, in which house, uh, power of Saturn will be shown. So shown. So you need it to master, you know, and to learn some new skills uh, in the past two years and a, and a half because Saturn spent such a great deal of time in your third house of your communication. So what you need to master it, the way how you communicate with other people the way even how you allow other people address to you. Uh-huh. This is very important, my dear Libras, especially for you, since you are air sign, you know. So, uh, in your life, everything depends on how other people basically treat it, treating you. So, this is very, 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 very um, important theme for you. Maybe you started new job, new business online, uh, maybe you open finally yourself towards worldwide, you know, opening maybe YouTube channel, something of that kind most likely happened to, to you. Also, um, uh, um, a third house is house of your siblings, uh, brothers and sisters. Maybe you come across, maybe you came across on some 
problems or on the other hand fixing problems in communication when it comes to brothers and sisters but also your friends in general maybe a couple of your friends needed to go because they uh, you can feel that they are envy at you simply you can feel that you cannot trust in some friend of yours so this is little something about saturn being for the past two years and a half in your third house now saturn little by little if is moving and shifting and entering by december 20th 2017 in your fourth house house of your roots house of your family this is where lives your bra your uh, mother and a father depends on your gender so let me put your parents in general maybe all of a sudden uh, there will be shown a need in the next almost three years maybe you will find yourself you know in a situation taking care about your old mother or father maybe you will relocate yourself maybe all of a sudden you will say to yourself you know what i want to build my ha house this also could happen for single libras now pay attention you might meet a man very serious man uh, much more older than you and you might uh, spend basically the rest of your life with him now guys listen to me everything depends where you live are you now single are you attached are you happy with your home house with your home life um are you divorced you know how old or young you are everything depends uh also uh, which planets you have now in i mean not now but in your in a natal chart in your fourth house this can show uh, uh the whole a picture for basically what will happen to you so Saturn will touch any kind of planet or maybe even asteroid which basically you have in your natal chart but uh, of course I can't talk about that because I do not see your natal your natal chart right right so Saturn uh, entering uh, into your fourth house will give you opportunity um, uh, to learn about you about your inner wisdom about everything that you uh, that you learn so far and you will be in a situation to apply wisdom to apply everything that you learned so far most likely if you're old enough maybe now you will get a grandchild you know if you're like i don't know 50 60 70 this also could be the theme in your life for some others if you're still quite you know young maybe this is a child for some of you first one for some of you of course second maybe even the third one also many libras you will find yourself in a situation starting new job and working from your house now this is only like you know couple of words couple of ideas and you can work uh, with those now my dear friends let me come back to tarot do you like my new magic wand an angel well of course an angel what else by the way well you know i think every single uh december in any kind of you know given next year i will put home alone because this is my favorite movie ever when it comes to you know uh, christmas and christmas if you know spending with with my family with your families you know as well so you know this is very special uh, month and you know merry christmas to you and to your families as well but now let me back let me let me go back to tarot okay job money work business sector of yours with the nine of pentacles major kind of the star will of fortune and high priestess uh-huh there you go now i can see new beginning i can see money i can see new idea i can see you uh, having new idea that may, most likely you do not want to share with other people how come because you are not ready first of all my dear Libras, you may be uh, quite very uh, still, you know, embarrassed to talk about how ambitious you are. Honey, you are a very ambitious type of personality. You may be a younger or older Libra, you may be man or woman. Never mind, you know. And I think that you might have a jolly good idea of starting completely new adventure, maybe even working as a freelancer or maybe really working from your house this is something completely new what is the most important you need to believe in yourself you really need to believe in your success without that you tend to allow other people to mark at you you know don't allow that and even 
Don't speak with other people too much about your future adventure, business adventure, starting a new job, because I can say with the Wheel of Fortune, this is like you turn, you know, this is like a big, big shift in your professional life. When it comes to uh, Major Arcana, the High Priestess, now, this is secret knowledge, this is tarot, this is astrology, this is Reiki, this is healing, this is ancient knowledge of some kind. Maybe you will become a master, maybe you will find yourself in a situation, maybe you will become a professor, teacher of some kind, maybe even in a school. Maybe you will take care of kids, your kids, other kids, and maybe you can maybe you can earn money with that. I mean, it doesn't have to be kids, could be basically anything, anything else. But your idea is still at the very beginning, right? So, by January, you will have everything set up and, you know, ready to go. With the Wheel of Fortune, which is really your destiny being re revealed to you in a such a, a synchronicity type of way. Something which is, which is very, very uh, unlikely for you. So, something which is completely different and... Other people do not perceive you as being, you know, that wise. But you will surprise all of your people in your surrounding. Okay, so now I will put this first spread down. Because I have another spread, my dear Libras, for the month of December for you. So let me try to see what is going on. Uh, Eight of Wands, Major Arcana, the Devil. I have Major Arcana, the Emperor for you. And ta -da, da da two of cups. Well, when you connect all those dots, when you connect all those tarot cards, you know, what might be the storyline for you? Okay, I don't know, maybe you are older Libra, maybe you are younger Libra, maybe you're single, maybe you're already attached, you know, who knows? But I will connect those four tarot cards in one story just for you. Okay, so I can see... For many, many Libras uh, in the month of December, but I think for many of you also in the month of January, you know, I can see your ex calling you and trying to explain something to you. Well, big question is, are you over, uh, are you over him? Because if you are over him, uh, I do not see uh, that basically you tend to go back, but he will give you um, offer which basically you cannot decline whatever this means for you so love obviously is in your life maybe you are already in love and maybe you already attached never mind your ex will decide to re-enter into your life once again offering you so much more money more I don't know whatever than basically your current partner and then you will start thinking hmm Maybe I should do that, not only because of money or any other convenient of, of any kind, you know, but because you still are in love with him. So communication is basically the key. Communication with your ex, but also I can see completely new man, which is very, 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 very serious about being, you know, about, about being with you, giving you love and taking care of you and being so good to you like nobody before. This man is older than you. This man is very, 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 very wise. This man most likely is already divorced. Maybe you will have opportunity to meet him on a, uh, on a social media, some kind of website. Maybe you will have opportunity to meet him uh, uh, through your work. Maybe he will be your client. Maybe even you already know him. Maybe you met him a couple of years uh, before when he was attached, but now both of you are single and you are ready to flourish. He can be quite very easily born under the astrological sign of Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus and Aries, Leo and especially, especially Cancer or maybe even, maybe even Scorpio or Pisces. So there you go. You cannot say that you will be... Um, uh, um, uh, unhappy uh, or that nobody care for you, that nobody want you, you cannot say that because I can see uh, at least two or three people will be very interested to be with you. My dear Libras, now you know exactly what you want. Choose carefully because Major Arcana the Devil is always about temptation of some kind. 
Some temptation is our life are good. Some of them are not that good. But this person, I mean, if you're female Libra, of course, this is a man, the emperor, truthful emperor, and he holds his life in his, in his hand is in in his hands. He will invite you, join me, be with me, uh, live with me, uh, love me, because I have so you so much to offer to you. I know what life is all about. I know exactly as a man what basically you need from me and I am ready. I am willing to give you all of that and more. So compare this man with this ex of yours. And of course, if you are male Libra watching this video, then this is a one woman and this is basically another woman, most likely your ex, girl, friend. Okay, my dear friends, I think this is just about enough for one month. If you want to hear a story of your own, then please book a private reading with me. You will get astrology reading plus tarot reading for the price of one. Make sure to subscribe on my channel. Thank you. Share and like this video with your friends. God bless you all once again. Thank you so very much for being uh, through the whole 2017 with me. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart on every single comment that you're sending to me every single day. Hundreds of comments which I do receive every single day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Merry Christmas once again. And I really, you know, I, I wish you all the best in 2018. Bye-bye.